going live. <laughs> Time to torment people. We are live. It's been a while since we streamed. On our own, at least. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Me. God damn it. Ah. Let's put the salt. Me. <laughs> so much meat. Oh my god. Ah. These are like 20 pounds. Ah. As big as me. Like, my torso is right here. <laughs> this is, this is definitely a big me. God damn. I mean, hey, you know what they say about twinks, right? You know, small, small bods, big me. <sighs> we pulled the TikTok stream on the good old computer. Lots of meat. Bah, 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 bah. Let's get you some light in there. Boy, you gonna share? Maybe. It's a lot of meat. Everybody's favorite, the wobble board. Got my scale. If it's good enough for the post office, it's good enough for the kitchen. That's the way I look at it, you know. That's right, rubber feet. Alright. So we got our second cutting board, we got our meat. We got our napkins, because this is going to be a mess. It's going to be a bad mess. God damn. Awful. So. Well. It would help if I've actually done this before. I have not done this before. So, I guess the first step is to get it out of its packaging. So, um, let's just... Just like I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's so much. I don't know why. I didn't think this through on buying it. Okay. So I know that's gonna be the first goal, right? Is to free the meat. That's the that's the, that's our new election term, free our meat. <laughs> God. Yeah, you wanna see somebody ruin 20 pounds of steaks? This is, this is the stream. I'm gonna ruin something already. 
Oh gosh. So slimy. We're not slime. Well, I'm crazy. Oh. Woo! It smells like raw meat. Ugh. I promise you, I know how to, uh, probably got meat juice all over my fursuit. Oh, God. Oh. Great. So, I was sitting there thinking about it. I don't think I needed this because the, the cleaver's not big enough. I, I've got to check the mirror now. I'm pretty sure I got meat juice on me. I've got to check. And I've also got to recoup my standings. I don't know how to cut this. Oh, God. You know what? Even if we got meat on the suit, we'll be fine. So, um, huh, I don't necessarily know how to really cut this because I've never done it before. Um, do I need to use the chef's knife? Probably. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, God damn. This is, this is a mistake already. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna waste a lot of meat today. Just gotta clear up the edge, I guess. Um, um, so, how do you like your meat? You like your meat thick or you like it thin? I, I don't really care, it's meat. <laughs> um, uh, hmm, did not, I, I did not look this up. I probably should have. I should have made sure my knives were sharp. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure I can cut off a lot of this fat. I think that's what this is. So, as you know the expression, um, I lead by example, but don't follow my lead. Oh yeah, this is all fat. Damn. God, damn. So I think that's, I think I'm doing this right. Right, you, you, you trim up, I guess the also the goal was to the main goal is to try to reduce waste. Like that's that's fat. This is all fat. I need to I wonder if I can get that now. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just We'll, we'll keep the fat somewhere, because I'm pretty sure we can use it for something. Alright, so... I guess we'll just cut off a lot of the excess fat. Because that sounds about right. Because this is... That's, that's a lot of... A lot of fat. Usually you're supposed to... Usually bottoms are notorious for knowing how to handle their meat, but, uh, not like this. Probably gonna fucking hurt myself. We'll just take our time. Um, 
Yes, I don't know what I'm doing either, so it's going to be great. So I know this is all. Uh, I guess we can cut that. I'm also not reading the comments as well. And I'm pretty sure some people are being like, what are you doing? You're ruining it. Oh uh, yeah, probably, probably am. Or like, who gave this guy a knife? Yeah, that's a, that's a fine damn good question. Who did give me a knife? I think, I think we're starting to figure it out. As you can tell, I'm not a professional. Um, I mean, that, that kind of looks right, you know? Um, Bro, I could probably make some fucking... Oh, I could make, like, bacon. Can you imagine if this thing had damn, um... bone to worry about? I'd be so screwed. I wouldn't know how to do anything. It doesn't help that my cutting boards aren't even like that looks like a bacon strip. Um Okay, um Maybe I should probably ask for somebody's help. Um I'm probably wasting a lot of good meat. I love fat. I love fat on my steaks. Okay. I think we're at a good starting point. Um, let's see how that looks. That's not that bad, right? That looks pretty good. Again, with the fat, because right there, I don't know if you can't see it on your end, but there's like a. I don't even know how to get to that. Ugh. Like all right here, that could be gone. Um, I don't have the tools for this. I don't know how to do it. Uh, yeah, I'll just fuck up my knife. There we go. You know, the idea behind this was to help save money. And all this meat that I'm probably wasting is not saving me money. Starting to figure it out. So, I guess the idea is to trim up all the meat. I feel bad for anybody who's actually trying to learn anything from me. That's you know that's not happening. You won't learn a thing from me. Maybe you learn um not what to do. 
All right. Um, eh. See, my original idea was to use the meat cleaver and just go whap, whap, whap. But that ain't happening because this thing is massive. Because if I go, that ain't doing nothing. <laughs> like I did nothing besides ruin that bit. That's okay. We'll turn that into stew or something. God. Dull ass knife. Probably should sharpen it. Are you any better? You're smaller. Probably not. Had to make sure you were even the right knife. I mean, it kind of is a lot better. If you do this, do this with an actual good equipment. Don't be like me. Oh yeah, look at that. That's all butchered right there. Bro, I'd be a terrible butcher. Like, all these butchers are probably using, like, actual shit that benefits their life. Um, fun. Uh, what are the comments? I don't even know. Uh, we'll just go back to using this. Um, uh, maybe I... Do I need to turn it around to go this way? To cut with the grain? I don't know which way the grain's going. Uh, maybe. Okay. You know what? That might be a lot better. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rotate all of this meat. Oh my god. Like, as soon as this is over, all I'm doing is just, uh. God damn. It's big. <laughs> all I'm doing is, like, once we get done cutting this big old slab of meat, I'm gonna reportion everything. Anyways, I just thought this would be a more exciting thing to do for a live stream. Ugh. God. Oh, God. It's so slimy. I drift that up. I need to figure out what to do with all this fat. <laughs> there has to be something I could do with it. Alright. I think it's yeah. Oh yeah, this is oh this is a lot better. <laughs> easier. Yeah, definitely look up what to do. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. It's a good thing I'm not eating at night. Damn. Get a sharp knife. We'll learn how to sharpen. Let go. Yummy. <laughs> I'm 
pretty sure if you saw me cut, if you saw me at the butcher right now, you would want like a discount on all your meat. God. Oh man, I'm gonna leave this to you, Walmart employees and all these other butchers because damn, brutal. I couldn't do this shit every day. The experience, though, is so great. <laughs> and here I thought I was going to use my fancy new cleaver. That was a mistake. Man, that's a big chunky one. There's a chonker. Well, to be fair, two steaks. Like, I think it's like a pound or two pounds of steaks at Walmart. Like two of them for, is usually like thirty dollars. So. I shouldn't be sawing. This is the best I can do. I'm so weak. It's so incredibly weak. I mean, this thing looks like it's got some good marble in it, maybe? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not professional. Ugh. Also, this was like nine dollars a pound or ten dollars a pound. I think I spent close to like two hundred and fifty dollars for this. So it's definitely definitely cheap. <laughs> to do this yourself. I mean, it's definitely a nice experience because I'm learning a lot. Like, I don't know how to cut at all. Or know how to buy knives, apparently, because these are very little pair of knives. I need to buy, um, Really, really good chef knife. Like a $300 chef knife. I think this could be my next big kitchen upgrade. The nice chef knife. Like, look at that. That's so good. It's not good because it's me. It's good because I made it. Kind of. I'm just cutting it. Yo, you go to a steak restaurant, they said, what kind of steak you want? You want a six pounder? What do you want six ounces? You better say six pounder. Like, how the fuck would you cook this? Like, you couldn't sear every side because the inside would still be like 40 degrees. Look at that, I'm sawing, motion, ruining the the grain, I'm ruining everything about this. Let's just say I'm not quitting my day job anytime soon, that's for sure. Like you got guys who are hunting, killing deer, and they know how to process this shit better than I do. Like, that's falling apart. 
Maybe I'm just doing it all wrong. Maybe everything I've been doing today is just wrong entirely. And I should probably reconsider <laughs> my choices today. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do as well is I'm going to um, freeze the majority of this. God damn, let go. I just need it to be more workable. Like, I'm probably not going to cook steaks. Like, I'm probably not going to cook these. Like, I'm probably going to um, cut them up in smaller sections and then turn them into, like, burritos and burrito bowls and stuff like that. I don't know. What am I doing? This is ruined. Oh my god. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're good with that. <laughs> because we got the big guy. God damn. I'm ruining my boards. Yeah, that. That looks about right. Now we got, got my lean tower of meat, my fat. I probably should have been wearing gloves this entire time. But you know, I'll just wipe it on him. Oh. Oh man, I'm gonna ruin everything in this kitchen. I don't have enough, I don't have enough surface of anything. Um, like I said, I'm leading by example. Don't do what I do. Do it better. Learn. Learn how to do it better. Oh, I'm gonna check what chat's saying. Yeah, so much money. Like, that's two hundred and fifty dollars of meat. That's two hundred and fifty dollars of a uh, not usable meat. I don't know. <laughs> God. I need a, I need a process of how I'm going to do this. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a fucking. I'm, I'm looking at the stream right now. That's a fucking monster of meat. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Let's challenge. Shut up. Certainly. so much. Uh. 
But we have 30 minutes. God. To process this. What are you doing with it? I don't even know. I don't know what I plan on doing. There's just so much. There's so much to do. I'm just reading the chat. I'm sorry. See, I probably should have waited when I actually had a fucking vacuum seal because all I've got is a Ziploc bags. This meat didn't expire until Christmas. So it's like, I probably should have waited until I bought a vacuum thing, but I also don't have any food until then. So I have to figure out stuff. So I'm doing this. So I'm gonna try to weigh it out or if anything, I'm just gonna pack it. I'll probably just gonna pack it. Yeah, Amazon's gonna be the best, but honestly, I might just throw everything in the Ziploc bags just to get it back to being cold and refrigerated because it's already been out for 30 minutes. Don't need to get in it room temp anymore. Oh, no, I'm just going to let the meat just sit there, and we're going to watch it rot over the next three days. No, I'm going to cook it. I'm going to eat all of this meat. I will eat all of this. I will turn it into Taco Bell. Because my original idea was to take it, go figure out where the halfway point is, just go, but you know, do that, all I was going to do, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm gonna process everything in time while the beat is still raw like this. Please go boop. 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 Huh. Maybe I'll put two bags. I'll put two two things of steak in each bag, like two whole steaks. Uh and then just because they should, because I have to defrost it 24 hours before. So I might do that. I might do that. So we're just going to put all of our meat in bags. God. There's no structure to the meat. <laughs> It's just flimsy. Maybe I should have bought, um, should have bought a vacuum seal before. Now let's see how much this weighs. Two steaks? Get our post office scale. Two decent sized steaks. 2.9 ounces, or 2.8 ounces, 2.86. That's not bad, right? 2.8 ounces, that's $30. Right there, $30 in steak. <laughs> Boom, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna be fine. I just need to Write down today's date. Just so I know what day I processed all this. Gosh. Get in there. 
And don't worry, I'm going to check all these bags after the stream anyways to make sure they're airtight as best that I can get. Should probably move that. Hang on. There we go. We'll just keep that right there. How's the U-way? Two point six ounces, or two pounds six ounces. That's not bad. I'm pretty good at almost getting it spot on at two point eight ounces, or two, two, almost three pounds. So it's like fifteen dollars a stay, and I will definitely get my money's worth out of this. Buy meat locally from like farmers. Be great. What are you at? Let's see. Two point two, two pounds, two ounces. That's not bad. A little shy, but oh well. We'll be fine. That's a chunky one. That, that, is, that one itself is like a two pounds. I want to say this is three pounds. Ah, Cutting meat is tough. Like, I thought beating it was one thing, <laughs> but it, using dull-ass knives from Walmart, mm-mm. Y'all can probably see how much air is still in these bags, but you know what. We're not a professional. 2.2 pounds, 7 ounces. That's pretty good. Definitely cut your own meat. That'd be fun. I think it's something fun to do. Like, my ex did it for uh, us last time, and it, we had it, um, it had bone in it, like the bone one, and we just gave our dogs the bone. That one's, hang on, hang on, hang on, that one's all sorts of fucking mutilated. Give me this! I don't to my home. I'm sitting here with a fucking... I can't believe all that cutting. I didn't really cut any of that. My cleaver sucks. I suck at cutting. Dang. Maybe I just don't know how to hold it. I think that's the case. I don't know. I didn't learn any cutting skills whatsoever. There we go. If this was chicken or pork, God, we'd be so screwed. We'd have salmonella everywhere in this home. There we go. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll just take those fatty bits and just butcher it, you know? Just butcher those fat. Next. I like how the start of this year I was making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and now I'm just cutting 300 pounds, 300 dollars worth of steaks. It's crazy, crazy time. God. That is a monster. I would love to have this steak at like Texas Roadhouse. Like, Come on, y'all. 
Stop giving me the damn like four ounce ribeyes. Give me the monsters. This is like two months of steak. This is two months of supply of food. Get that fat off there. All right, what are you at? Almost three pounds, okay. So I probably could have gotten more steaks if I cut them a little bit thinner. But at $10 a pound, you can make, I think it's like 21 pounds or 22 pounds. I think you could do the math. You could probably get 40 steaks out of it. If you make four ounce, so if you make like burritos or like steak tacos, and um, I'm gonna use like four ounces of meat, which most places do. Like, look up like your favorite places you like to eat, like Chipotle or like Taco Bell. See how much meat they ha are supposed to have in their um, ingredients? Like Chipotle's uh, burrito would be like um, four ounces of steak. So you could buy 22 pounds of steak and cut them up in the four ounce section. Cause that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Uh, 1.14, almost two pounds, close enough. Need to get this bagged up. Need to figure out what I what I can do with it. So, I don't want to waste it. I feel like I can do stuff with this. Like I really do. Like somebody said that I can't cook beef or I can't use beef fat for anything. It just burns. We gonna find out. We gonna find out. Like we gonna figure out what we can do with it. I will make a candle out of this fat. Like, that's just pure fat. Get my... Just gonna... Well, okay, so I probably don't want to overcrowd it, because I do need to... de-thaw it eventually. Who knows, maybe all of it might just go to waste and I never learned anything with it. That just might be the case. I don't know what to do with it. But the fact that I've got bacon, <laughs> kind of, it's not bacon. Yeah, that's like a tongue, just Like you're telling me I can't do nothing with all this fat? Like you're crazy. I have to be able to do something with that. There we go, we'll just turn it into a fucking burrito. Clean up my food. God damn. You can tell I'm very entertained at home. Yes. I could just use it as seasoning too. Maybe that's what I would like. Alright. Uh, I guess for good measures, we'll cut it up a little bit. Yes, this cleaver almost weighs as much as meat, too. Like you're telling me, well, honestly, what I could probably do is just skin it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that cheese pool. Look at that, that's beef. That's edible beef right there that I was about to throw away. Like, I can cook that and stuff. I could probably just peel all of this. Just 
God, it's like it's like somebody put plastic over it. You know what? Throw it in the bag. We'll figure it out later. We just need to get off the stream now. Shove it all in the bag. Put the money in the bag. Put the meat in the bag. Put the meat in the bag. Instead of putting fries in the bag, put the motherfucking meat in the bag, yo. Just put that meat in there. Oh my god. So yeah, that's what it looks like when you waste two hundred dollars on a in a night. 30, 30 minutes of entertainment, I guess. Alright, we'll share the meat and get some. Hey, did I just take the entire bag of meat? Oh my god, I wish I did trick or treat. Can you imagine if I just handed a kid just like Oh, trick or treat! Happy Christmas! Yes, <laughs> sir. It's Halloween. Yeah, happy Christmas. There's some fucking meat. Do you know how expensive this shit was? Check your fucking candy. I found a fucking steak. Tomahawk steak. <laughs> mm. Glorious. Love it. Thank you. I love you all. Including you haters. I know you hate me. And that's okay. I hate me too if I couldn't buy it. $300 worth of uncut ribeye. Alright, we gotta do some very, something very special for you guys. Since you've decided to stay and watch, and we're pretty much done. Can I do it? Oh my god, I fucking did it. That board is ruined anyways. Don't tell me anything. Alright, let's see. <laughs> there we go. Hope you have a good night. It was a pleasure entertaining y'all. Now I'm gonna figure out how not to waste all this meat. Bye, love you guys. Meat. <laughs>